Right then, so today I'm going to try and recover a, um, a mini dash cam that basically has um, gone wrong during the firmware process. So now basically the camera won't turn on, it's just basically a brick, for lack of a better term. So um, there's a bit of software called Direct USB. Um, I'll put a link into the um, the video so you can download this. And it basically lets you recover an Amberella A7 based dash cam. Um, so to do that you need a, an on-the-go cable or an OTG cable. So whether that's mini or micro, that'll depend on um, basically your dash cam, so what connector it's got on there. So um, you need to get that from eBay or Amazon or wherever you like basically an OTG cable and then that just connects from your PC into the camera. Um, so in this example I've got a, a Mini 0806 so to get that into OTG mode, well sorry, to get it into um, firmware flashing mode you basically um, you hold the up arrow and then you plug it into a, an on-the-go cable and then what should happen, um, we should get a new device found um, there we go. So basically we've got this LibWin32 device, which is the Amberella Evaluation Board. Now basically what you need to do the first time you do this is boot up Windows with um, device driver sign and enforcement turned off. So um, it's quite simple, just look in your startup options, um, have a quick look on Google for how to do it on your version of Windows. This is Windows 10, so in this one you just basically do start, settings, um, then recovery options and it's just in there basically boots up again press 7 that disables the driver's eye and enforcement and off you go basically comes up you'll get this new device it'll ask you for a driver so um, if it's the first time you've done it I've got a copy of direct USB here and you can see in the folder there's a driver folder and basically just point it at that and that will then install this device that you see below so once you've got this far um, go into your direct USB folder um, launch direct USB and you'll get a screen like this. Now essentially all you do now, you can see this one's pre-configured to work with the A7 so you just do the connect button, um, that should say it's found a device which it has luckily, that's good news, we've got the green light, it's initialized, it's initialized the DRAM OK. So at this point what I'm going to do, um, just to prep the camera, let's just do erase NAND, um, that'll basically erase the flash chip and get it ready for programming. Um, as you can see it just takes a few seconds, you get the beep as the device is lost, give it a couple of seconds, it'll come back again. And now at this point, just do connect again. We've still got a device there, which is great news, otherwise we'd be in big trouble. Um, and now we'll just choose the file. So in this instance, I've got a an ELF file that I've downloaded from um, the Mini 0806 website. So we'll just double click that to choose it. And then basically it is as simple as just clicking the download button. And then what that will do is basically um, copy this software over to the Mini and then basically program it. So um, I've got the Verify option ticked here. So what should happen in a minute, we'll get it reconnect. There we go, look. And we've got all the, um, this is all the information about the different sections of the, the firmware. So um, that's a success, fantastic. So now what I'll do, I'll just um, basically unplug the camera that I've got here. Um, and if we flick back to device manager, you can see that the, the LibUSB device is gone. And now um, the on the camera I've got here, the blue light's still on. So I'm just going to hold the power button for 20 seconds. And eventually that just basically forces a full reset. So this will vary depending on what camera you're using. Um, but yeah, just give it a few seconds, wait for that to go off. And then what should happen um, is that once that's off, there we go. So if I now just press the power button that camera should now boot up again. There we go, I think you can hear that noise. That's the camera booting up, and there we go, it's back up with the, the firmware on there. So, um, happy days. So that's all there is to it, really simple process, and um, good luck recovering your camera.